AV receivers look scary, like a spaceship control panel. But in 2025, they're the heart of every home cinema, and most people are using them completely wrong. Let's break it down, no jargon, just the truth. 1. What is an AV receiver, and why do you even need one? At its core, an AV receiver is your home theater's command center. It powers your speakers, switches your HDMI inputs, decodes audio formats like Dolby Atmos or DTS, X, and sends video to your TV or projector. Think of it like this. TV equals display. Speakers equals muscles. AV receiver equals the brain. But here's the real reason you need one. If you want true surround sound, multiple devices connected at once, and cinematic immersion, an AVR is the only gear that ties it all together. Without it, you're stuck with limited soundbars or tangled messes of wires. Two, channels, Watson confusion, breaking down specs the right way. 7.2 channels, 120 watts per channel, THD, impedance. Sounds complicated? That's what scares most beginners. But here's how to decode it. 7.2 channels equals seven speakers plus two subwoofers. Watts per channel equals how powerful your AVR is, but real world numbers matter more than specs. Impedance equals speaker resistance. Most AVRs support 6 to 8 ohms. THD, total harmonic distortion, equals lower is better. Under 0.1% is great. And here's the catch. Manufacturers often exaggerate power ratings. So always compare real testing and user experience, not just box specs. 3. Dolby Atmos DTS. X and other formats. What actually matters in 2025? AV receivers now support height-based audio, which means sound comes from above you, not just around you. That's what Dolby Atmos and DTS. X do. If your movies sound flat or lifeless, it's because you're missing this layer. Atmos-enabled AVRs, 5.1.2, 7.1.4 setups. Unlock that cinematic vertical sound stage. Helicopters flying overhead, rain falling from the ceiling, etc. Here's the twist. Not all AVRs decode Atmos the same way. Some fake it with virtual processing. Others use real upfiring speakers or in-ceiling channels. So if Atmos is your goal, look for true decoding plus speaker support, not just a logo. 4. HDMI ports, eARC, and 8K. Stop wasting money on features you don't need. In 2025, HDMI 2.1, eARC, and 8K pass-through are big buzzwords. But do you actually need all of it? Here's the honest breakdown. HDMI 2.1 equals needed only if you game on PS5, Xbox Series X, or have a 120Hz TV. eARC equals must-have for lossless audio from your TV back to AVR. 8K pass-through equals useless unless you own an 8K TV and 8K source. CEC and lip sync equals crucial for ease and smoothness. The trick, buy an AVR based on your devices, not marketing hype. Because many buyers are paying $500 extra for features they'll never use. Don't fall for it. 5. Common beginner mistakes that destroy sound quality. Now for the painful part. Even with a premium AVR, most beginners mess up the setup and ruin their entire sound system. Top mistakes. Wrong speaker placement, e.g. center too low, surrounds behind your ears. Not running speaker calibration, like Odyssey, YPAO, or Dirac Live. Cheap speaker wire or bad connections. Using the wrong speaker mode, stereo instead of surround, or pure direct when it's not needed. Here's the deal. A $400 AVR with proper setup sounds better than a $2,000 system with bad placement. Fix your fundamentals before blaming your gear. 6. AV receiver setup, the right way step by step. Let's simplify your first setup like a pro. Speaker placement, front L slash are at ear level, center directly under slash above TV, surrounds to the side or behind, subs near corners if possible. Wiring, use 16 gauge copper wire, strip cleanly, no loose ends. Inputs, plug HDMI devices into AVR, then connect AVR to TV using the HDMI out, ARC slash eARC port. Speaker calibration. Use the included mic sit in your main spot. Let the AVR balance everything automatically. Modes and settings. Choose Dolby Surround or Neural, X for upmixing. Turn off dynamic range compression unless watching at night. Done right, your living room will feel like a cinema. And here's a bonus. Most AVRs improve sound drastically once you turn off all the dynamic features. Keep it natural. Let the amp breathe. 7. 
why your AVR is overheating, lagging, or acting weird fixes. Let's solve the real-life headaches. Problem. AVR gets hot. Fix. Give it 3 to 5 inches of space on top and sides. Never enclose it in a tight shelf. Use external cooling if needed. Problem. Lip sync delay. Fix. Enable HDMI lip sync in settings or manually adjust A slash V delay. Problem. No surround sound. Fix. Wrong audio format selected in source. Set to Bitstream, Dolby Digital, or Atmos. Problem. Can't get sound from TV apps, e.g. Netflix. Fix. Use eARC. Enable it on both TV and AVR. And use HDMI cable that supports eARC, 48 gigabits per second. Most issues are settings problems, not hardware issues. AVRs are powerful, but they need smart setup to run smooth. 8. Best AVRs for beginners in 2025, my top picks, no confusion. If you want to skip the confusion, here are top beginner-friendly AVRs that work beautifully out of the box. Sony STR and 1007.2 channels, HDMI 2.1, fantastic for Atmos and gaming. Denon AVR, S970H, great balance of power, simplicity, and performance. Yamaha RX, V6A, beautiful design, YPO calibration, and smart 7.2 audio. Onkyo TX, NR6100, smooth 8K, Dirac ready, and under $800. Pioneer VSEX, LX105, powerful, clean sound, and future ready features. All of these are 100% beginner proof. Plug them in. Run calibration. Enjoy cinema grade sound in minutes. 9. Final advice. Learn the system before you blame it. Here's the honest truth. AV receivers are not plug-and-play like sound bars. They require time, testing, and learning. But once you understand the basics, you unlock a level of audio that no soundbar can touch. Take one to two hours to learn your system. Test speaker modes. Adjust settings. Try different sources. Because once it's dialed in, an AV receiver becomes the most powerful tool in your entire entertainment setup. And in 2025, it's smarter, cleaner, and more accessible than ever before.